Welcome to the boating capital of the Bahamas. The Abaco chain of islands is a fishing, <laughs> boating, and sailing paradise. And over the next seven days, we're taking you on a sailing and island hopping adventure. They see you ready to go on an adventure? If you're new here, we're Cole and Emily Cruz. We quit corporate America to pursue a life on the water with no prior sailing experience. We're now 7,000 nautical miles into our mission of sailing the world. And I gotta say, we're getting pretty good at pulling on these lines. This week, we're hosting our first ever group event, our Cruise with the Cruise Flotilla, and we're partnering with Cruise Abaco. We are so excited to show you at home and our crew on board why the Abacos is so special to us. Everyone is here, so it's now time to get off the dock. Woo, we are off the dock and underway, and we are headed south. And I gotta say, today's my first time being on the boat and driving the boat without Cole. Now you guys know we went to captain school together. I am a licensed captain, but I've never driven the boat without him and I got us off the dock and I'm feeling pretty proud. It's gonna be a great week. Yeah, you're good? All right. So I am scaling the fish for the bonfire tonight. I am super excited. Uh, we've got uh, three different fish we're gonna cook. We're gonna cook this yellowfin grouper that I shot. We're gonna cook a mutton that Laurent shot, and we're also gonna cook a hogfish that Emily shot. So we're gonna have three different fish that we're gonna cook on the fire. Super excited about that. And I've got the guys, they're putting together a nice little fire, collecting some wood. We got some more people coming in, and we're gonna have a nice night. So for our first night of the flotilla, we are here putting a bonfire together. We're gonna cook some of the fish that we speared yesterday and really enjoy the scenery. Who doesn't love a beach bonfire? So it's really cool having this beach bonfire tonight as the first thing we're doing for our flotilla because when Cole and I came to the Bahamas for the first time three years ago now, we had just gotten engaged and we were on a charter, we were dreaming of this lifestyle. We had a beach bonfire with our friend Freediver Steph, we were on charter with her and there were I think three or four other cruisers there and it was just such a cool night to ask them a million questions around the fire about cruising and how they made this lifestyle a reality. So it's really full circle now to have people here with us. It's gonna be a great week, we're excited. We had a great night last night, and this morning we had a nice light breakfast. Basically a yogurt parfait with papaya. Aubrey and Laurent were super creative with it and put peanuts and almonds and coconut shavings and honey. And it was just, let me tell you, I'm excited because our patrons have never sailed before. So it's always really cool when you get to show someone new something for the first time and let them experience your lifestyle and what you do. We're gonna go around this, we're gonna go south, and then we're gonna go east and go back south. We just turned the engines off and we are fully under sail power now. Your first time experiencing My it. First time. What do you think? It's fun. I wasn't expecting this to happen. Pretty quiet. Today. Huh? Yeah, it's so quiet. Yeah. Definitely it, feels free. It feels very, very free. freeing. We just 
had a really great lunch after picking up a mooring at Pete's Pub. So excited to be here. It's like old Florida charm here in the Bahamas. It's a cute little place. We've now gotten off the boat and we're gonna go on a little hike up to the old lighthouse ruin. So Emily got this on her whenever we were doing the hog hunting. And this is literally like poison ivy, but worse. It will actually leave welts. Like your skin will welt up with it. This old lighthouse was built in the late 1800s. It was destroyed by a hurricane. And what's left of it is the lighthouse keeper's house. So I'm guessing this is the actual kitchen or what would have been the kitchen because obviously we don't want to have fire in our living quarters or smoke because this was obviously uh, wood burning or some type, you know, maybe even they use oil to heat and cook on. All right, Max, what you think? This is awesome. Pretty cool, huh? It's amazing. Avery, what you think? We just had a really nice hike up to the lighthouse and we're dropping Dixie off at the boat and gonna go back to go to Pete's Pub for dinner. It's super cute, but it's getting dark and kind of hard to show you. And we just want to spend some quality time with the people we have with us. So we're gonna say goodnight and we are going to pick this back up tomorrow and we'll see you then. Good morning. We have just moved a little bit north. And unfortunately, we've got some weather rolling in, which I guess is so fitting because the people with us get to see that it's not all sunshine and rainbows. Well, we just got anchored in Buckaroon Bay. What are we about to do? Smoke some fish. We're gonna smoke some fish. So we got Tamaco Jack brown for 12 hours, just a saltwater brown, and this is just black pepper on top. There's a little bit of sugar in there too. We've uh, hijacked the boat and the smoker. Uh, Emily is and Cole are nowhere to be found. So we've got the, uh, the fish ready. And I'm sorry, but they're not gonna get any. So we're just gonna take this off. And we are going to enjoy. Yeah, you guys are missing out. <laughs> Excellent. Got through a lot of crap to get to days like this. Goodness, guys, I don't think I can capture how perfect this afternoon is. We are all just vibing. I just feel so super thankful that we can share our lives with people who have never had these experiences before. So to be able to shut off these engines, I've seen up to 7.7 .7 knots. It is so cool. So cool. This is what it's all about. What's up, everyone? We've got this Bali sailing pretty good. We're doing about seven knots, 17 knots of wind. I wanna take a second to talk about our charter partner for this Cruise with the Cruise flotilla, and that's Cruise Abaco. They have a captain for the day program, which means that you get to take your 
entire family spend the night on the boat at anchor or on a mooring ball and the captain is only there to help you during the day which gives you guys the privacy at night now if you watch our videos you know that we love to give tips and tricks about living this lifestyle on the water and one of those is that we recommend definitely taking at least two or three charters before ever making that big purchase one of the reasons for that is not only to get experience on the water, but to also make sure that you and your family enjoy being on the water, as well as trying out different boats. And that's where Cruise Abaco comes in and where they excel. And the fact that they have a great fleet that includes Bali's, Fountain Peugeot's, and Leopard's, brand new Leopard here at the fleet now, is actually owned by one of our patrons. All of their boats are owned by individuals, which makes them unique, meaning that they all have different features and amenities. So make sure to check them out at their website, cruiseabaco.com. The crew here on base are absolutely the easiest people to work with. Great crew, and we highly recommend them. Now back to the show. We are enjoying this sail. It is perfect conditions. Cinnamon roll casserole with homemade frosting. Good morning, guys. It is an absolutely stunning morning here at Tulu Key. Literally flat calm. We can see the bottom. Audrey's been making some cinnamon rolls that we're about to enjoy. And Max is going for a little paddleboard session. We're en route to Manowar Key, and Cole just called me on the radio and said they had some coordinates for dinner. And that was secret code for, we know where some lobster condos are that we're gonna go check out. So Laurent, Cole, and Max are now in the water. They said they're diving on, uh, I think what I heard was a old car hood, which we actually hear make the best lobster condos. So Audrey's getting suited up right now, getting her fins on. So you guys can't see because of the glare, but there's a golf cart right there. Brandon's gonna jump in. We just got anchored at Great Guana Key. We're gonna do grabbers for dinner and call it a night. This is so cute. Big C, ready to go on an adventure? We gotta go up the ladder again. Great Guana Key headed to Manjack. It's gonna be a great day for some sailing. We've got the sails up, about to turn the engines off. I'm excited to hang out with this crew for the day. Real fast, hard, 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 as hard as possible. Keep going, keep going, keep going. You wanna keep pressure on it. Get in the boat and then we'll spin in the bucket. Some kind of jack, we just don't know what kind. <laughs> don't keep. On watching this video knows what it is. He's going Leave back a home. Comment below. <laughs> We're gonna send him home. Yeah, 
So we're at Manjack Key, which is north of Green Turtle. We've got two little puppies here. When I say puppies, I mean water puppies, aka stingrays, that we're feeding. Feel him. Feel his, his side and stuff. He's just, it's so soft, it's crazy. Come here, guys. So when we feed stingrays, we put a little bit of it in our between our fingers, and we put our hand flat, and that allows this to float up, and the stingray comes over, and they have, they're like a vacuum. They'll literally just open their mouth, and it sucks it right in, um, which is really cool. And they actually, they have crushers, but the crushers are up inside their mouth. So as long as you're not sticking your fingers up in the mouth, you're totally fine. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so take your fingers, yep, just like that. All right, so then you're just gonna go all the way down. Yep, just like that. Boom. <laughs> he took it. He just went right over top of you. Julie, what do you think? That's all right. <laughs> there you go. Oh, I just stole it. <laughs> Good morning. It is an absolutely stunning morning. So you know what that means. We finally get to do what I've been wanting to take the crew to do all week long. We're gonna go for a little snorkel and dive sesh. We've gone around the tip here of Manjack on the big boat. We're all on the Bali this morning. We left our boat in the anchorage. We're gonna take these guys out. I'm so excited. Cole flew the drone this morning. Looks like some incredible reef here. Some that even go uh, close up to the surface. So. Fingers crossed it's gonna be really beautiful because I wanna show everybody why we love the Bahamas so, so much. So jealous. So I've been wanting to do gaio taku. It's really hard to say. Basically, it's Japanese fish print for a while now. Our friends uh, Billy and Sierra Owit over at Tula's Endless Summer recently did it. Cole and I have talked about it in the past, but seeing them do it just made us say, "Okay, we got to get supplies." So Avery and Max brought us the paint. They were our mule, <laughs> our shipment from Amazon. And when Laurent caught this fish today, I was like, "This is the perfect fish." to do this with. So super excited to see how it turns out. Ready and then press it down. Ready?
So we just made it to Green Turtle Key and we got one boat on a mooring ball. We went to grab a mooring ball. I called the guy on the mooring, uh, his name was on it, and he said, well, I haven't dove that this year and I'm not exactly sure that your boat would handle it. So it's best you just drop anchor. So that's what we did, which means it's free. It's totally good. Uh, I took the rest of the crew in already. We've got three golf carts, did some wheeling and dealing. They wanted $70 a piece for them. Got them for 50, so pretty happy about that. And now we're picking up the rest of the crew. We're gonna go have a day on the island. Thank you for waiting, sweet girl. Good job, thank you for waiting. Come here. Come here, buddy. Oh, that was a good catch. Good catch, buddy. One of the things I really was focusing on for putting our itinerary together is not to do the same old bar hop, island hop thing. We wanted to bring everyone here to experience the life that we live on a weekly basis and coming in here to Coco Cay and being able to feed the green sea turtles as well as the stingrays. It's just one of those things that, you know, we do whenever we're adventuring and just living this awesome lifestyle that we have. So I think it's really cool to be able to bring everyone and get immersed in the local scenery. walk in here at Green Turtle Club, you notice behind me all the dollar bills. A little over two years ago, Emily and I were here for our wedding and later our honeymoon. And somewhere along this wall right down here is our dollar bill or was our dollar bill. But unfortunately, we've tried looking for it. And as you can see, or maybe you can't see here, but there's like four rows of dollar bills just stacked on this wall, like wallpaper. It's pretty impressive how many dollar bills there are here. All right, guys, we're gonna end it here for the night and pick up tomorrow. We're going to a really special place that we're super excited to take this crew and take you guys at home. So we'll see you tomorrow. Good morning. It is the last day of our flotilla and the anchor is up and we are moving. We've just left Green Turtle Key and we are headed to maybe my favorite place of the entire trip. It's a mutton! Way to go! Nice! Our last stop of the trip and we have made it to Hopetown Harbor to see the beautiful Elbow Reef Lighthouse. It's an 1800s lighthouse and said to be one of, if not the only, lighthouse still hand cranked and fueled by kerosene in all of the world, which is pretty impressive. It just underwent a major renovation last year, and those of you who have been following for a long time, you know this was the first adventure Cole and I went on as husband and wife, and to see it renovated and newly painted the red and white, I won't get into all the history today, but it's gonna be a fun day to take our crew here. All right, you may proceed, sir. <laughs> What do you guys think? It's beautiful. Beautiful. We have made it to the top of the Elbow Reef Lighthouse and it never gets old coming up here. It really doesn't. Three years in a row, we have made it to the top yeah. of this lighthouse. And it's so cool. I can't help but think that when we were here the first year, we were still dreaming about being here on a boat. 
And then last year we brought our boat and anchored yeah. it right out there. And well, our boat's anchored right out there again to the this yeah, is so cool. But this time we just hit a milestone, 15K yesterday. And we have a group of, there's 12 of us, so 10 people who came on this first flotilla with us. And we have just had the best time ever. It's been an amazing week. For those of you who didn't get to come and who are interested, I really hope you'll consider coming next time. You can scan the QR code to get more information. And I just feel so thankful for this opportunity to get to show people our lifestyle, why we love the Bahamas, and I feel like coming here to the top of the lighthouse, 101 steps up, was just like the pinnacle of a great week. And the roosters in the background would agree. So we're gonna close this video out because we gotta get back down, back across over to Cruise Abaco Docks because we gotta turn the boat in. But it's been a great week and thank you for joining us. <laughs>